Hey YouTube friends, today I'm going to talk about PHP filters and a filter you can think of like a coffee cup and you pour your coffee and it only lets through the good stuff and that's what we're going to do. Now there's a lot to these filters so uh, try to listen carefully. Um, if I go to php.net what we have are functions to use our filters on. We're going to look at filter var, filter var array, and filter input. Okay, And you'll be able to pick up the rest after I give you a short walkthrough. And basically we can use filters to validate or sanitize data. Validating making sure that it is what we want it to be. And sanitizing to clean it up. Okay, They have some examples on here but it is a, a little busy and a little tricky. So uh, the first thing we can do we can say filter list and I'll just do f equals filter list and let me echo a pre tag and I will do print r of f and refresh and these are all of our uh, filters we can use uh, and that's just if you want to type this I guess but we don't need it for this so what we do is filter var and that's the number one that we're going to play around with first and what we do is we type in the value I'll just say 22 and then the type of filter we want to apply uh, and you can see here we can use all of these now you might think I want to validate an int so you type int but that's not right because you know that's just not a real thing you'd have to type filter whoops filter validate int okay and it's really long and this is a constant there's a lot of these uh, you can just attach the string here at the end of it so if this was an email I would attach email at the end and this is a very simple example so I'll save this and refresh and it gives me back 22 now what if I have an A in there I'll refresh and I get nothing and it looks like well there's a problem but nope it's just a false value so if you actually had this in an if statement, so if this was true, we'll say echo true, else echo false, and refresh, and it gives us false, and delete the A, refresh, and it's true. Okay, So nothing too complex about that. It either gives us the value or gives us false. Let's do filter var, and we'll do test at test.com and we'll do filter validate email and refresh oh did I make a ooh, I spelled this wrong filter var refresh and we're not getting anything because I didn't echo it that's embarrassing okay refresh that and we get the email address what about com dot dot au for Australia that passes and let's see if it passes for this one. Wow, that's strange. Um, two at signs, refresh, and then it fails. Now, I'll show you how to put some stricter rules on this. Uh, one more I'll show you is uh, they have a validate IP. And we could do filter, validate IP. Um, you can uh, validate IP version 4 and 6. And to do that, we can add another uh, thing down here, and we add a flag to it. So I'll say filter flag IP version 4, and refresh, and that one's good. Now that's not an IP version 4, because it's too many decimals. Um, there's a lot of flags also on here. So you first apply your filter, and then you apply optional options or flags okay so it might seem a little confusing at first um, let me do a URL by showing you these examples I think it'll be easier to understand okay so I'm gonna validate mysite.com and I want this to be a URL so filter validate URL and refresh that's good 
and you can also put on a couple flags with this one one for example would be filter flag um, path required okay and the path would be the uh, HTTP so if I get rid of this it's gonna be false if I put this back well I guess we need the uh, page name sorry index.php for the path name and there it is wrong thing um, another one would be uh, flag query required and what is a query that's the string on the end ID equals 44 and that one will pass so you can validate your input this way and there's no need to go through all of these uh, let's do the sanitize real quick and let's do get rid of this and get rid of this um, let's uh, sanitize a string to make it only a number so what if we had 500 C 400 C okay and we want to get rid of the number we can say filter sanitize number int now you need to put number here because there are other types of numbers uh, let me open up the PHP area and I was just showing you some of these validators here okay uh, under validate filters and you have options and you have flags um, and I was just showing you all the options in here right now we moved on to sanitize and you can sanitize stuff and it tells you what it does no need to go all through these um, it's just kind of playing around but I want to show you some that are cool so we're sanitizing this one and you see how it strips out the letter C and we only get integer values so it's kind of a quick way of doing stuff um, we can do filter sanitize string and let's do hey let's see what that does gets rid of these little brackets it appears let me view the page source yeah it gets rid of these brackets and extra things uh, so let me also show you some options this one's a little bit different but we're going to do the filter validate int so try to remember there's validate and there's sanitize okay and validate is for checking things and sanitizing is for cleaning uh, when I think of sanitize I think of like a dirty toilet bowl and you put some bleach in it okay <laughs> Okay, so for options, we put an array at the end. And I'll just hit enter so it's easier to read. Uh, so for filter validate int, um, you can do some options. And up in here, you see filter validate int. And it says you can specify a min range and a max range. And optionally, you can also put flags on it. I'm just going to show you the min and max range and I can say min range is zero oops that says mix and max range is four and refresh it gives us our value back good and what if we do the number number five refresh that's not supposed to work six let me get rid of this zero and try it this way well, I had it working a minute ago. I'm not too sure what I did wrong. Okay, so now let's move on to filter var array. If we want to uh, do the same thing to a bunch of uh, array values rather than one by one, let's first make an array. Let's call it data. And uh, let's do a uh, associative array. And let's say um, key is um, 500. Um, other and this will be another array and let's say um, 520 and I guess I'll just pop in a name up here name is uh, Jesse comma let me refresh make sure I have no errors looks like I do got a semicolon in there 
Okay, there we go. And then we can uh, pass some arguments. First, let me say we're going to do this filter var array. We're going to pass in our data. And then we're going to pass in our arguments. Okay, so we have to um, create an argument array also. So let's say args equals array. And what we do is we match up each of these associative keys with how we want to validate it. So if I say name, I want to validate this with um, filter uh, validate string. Um, how about key? And I'll do filter validate int and um, other. This one might trick you up because this one's an array, this other one. So we actually created an, another array with our uh, values in here. And I'll say um, filter to apply to every one of these. I'm going to say filter validate int. And let's echo this out. Okay. Refresh. And this is a mouthful. Uh, Sorry, there is no validate string. I meant sanitize. Refresh. We get an array. Um, I'll say E equals this, and I'll print R of E so we can see the results. Refresh. Um, it looks like it worked for Jesse. What if I had um, up in my name it was um, Jesse444. Well, that is a string. How about for the integer, I'll say dot e refresh. And this one's empty because it's false. It looks like this array didn't pass through. Let's see what happens if I pop some little strings around there. Refresh, no good. Um, flags, filter, require, scalar. Okay, I don't know what I've done wrong on this one, but it's something like this. Just check out the documents. So, this is just a different way to validate. It has its uses. Uh, oh, the last one, filter input. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And this is another cool thing. Let's say if is set of get ID, then we're going to do a uh, filter input. And I'll just say A equals filter input. And we, we specify the kind of input we're doing. We're doing input underscore get. And then we choose the name of the get, which would be ID in this case. And then what, how, what do we want to validate? Let's do um, filter validate int. I keep doing that because that's what I seem to only remember. Var dump of A. And I'll refresh, and nothing's showing up, so I'll go to the end of this and pop in ID equals 344. And we get that, okay? And it's kind of doing the same thing. Um, if I put a letter in there, it's not going to work. How about we validate an email? Um, dog at dog.com. Cool. So I think you get the idea. Um, no need to stretch this on any longer than it's going, and happy holidays everyone, thanks for watching.